like I'm getting much water out of these, so I might have to go shut down the peppers. Okay, so that should be... Let's see if that gets me some more water out of the tomatoes. Yep, there we go. Now I can hear it. Of course there's no water. You gotta shut off, fool. Now well, that means the tomatoes are doing really well considering that means there hasn't been any irrigation in here for probably a I don't know when I must have shut that off, but I've definitely run irrigation for two or three days without it coming out here. So the mulch is definitely preserving moisture because everything looks good. So now it's probably going to be really happy. Anyway. one on this run too. This is I think Sparkle. Oh. Oh, do a little weeding on that apparently. Not quite ripe yet. We'll leave that one. People ask me, how do you do this? Why do you do this? Wouldn't it be easier to go to the store? Mm. This is my answer right here. Everything tastes better when you grow it yourself. And these strawberries are no exception. This is amazing. Mm. Holy cow, that's good. Mm. Wow. Flavor explosion. Anyway, I've got... Uh, Got a bunch of rows prepped last night. Time to plant some corn before I go off on my trip. And pumpkins, hopefully. And cabbage and broccoli. Lots to do today. Sometimes when I need to keep track of things between the house and the garden, I'll take a notebook and write down what I want to plant. In some cases, however, it's much easier just to take the whole list right off the wall and take it outside.
work in the garden. Occasionally, I'll ask if they want to help me, and once in a while, they will. More often, though, I just let them show interest on their own and try to encourage that as best I can. I really cherish those moments most, when the kids show genuine curiosity about something I'm doing and then want to try it or help me out. Between Marty being interested in how the Earthway Cedar works and Beth wanting to help cover the corn, this was one of those good days. I don't know what other people struggle with for pests, but here at Nights and Weekends Homestead, we need to cover our corn immediately after planting. I once planted corn, then went inside to put away the cedar and go to the bathroom. When I came back to put out variety signs in the rows, there were three crows in the corn plot. They're just sitting in the trees watching and waiting. A task like this on a windy day is much easier with help, and it's wonderful when that help comes from your children who walked out to the garden and asked, without prompting, what they could do to help. There's a camera on. You do you, Marty. You do you. I'm getting really close to being... I never use the word done, but... To having everything planted in the garden and having all the rows... Either having everything planted or having all the rows prepped and ready to plant. Ziggy, get out. Out of the garden. Hey! What are you doing? As I was saying, <laughs> out, all the way, out, good boy, that's a boy, good boy, anyway, I'm really close to, I don't know how to define it, I guess I'm super happy with the way the garden is going right now. Especially considering I've injured my hand, I was slow in getting a bunch of stuff. But yet, I'm still light years ahead of where I've been ever before at this point in the year, I think. And part of that is just from all the work I did last year to get to a place where I was ahead of where I usually am. So, I guess the name of the game is improve a little bit every year. That being the case, I do have one, two full rows and one, two, five half rows left to do. And I'm going away for a week for work. I'd really like to get the leeks taken care of and then get these beds prepped so that I can plant two more rows of corn and get the beds prepped for carrots and beets and things like that so that I can flame weed those one more time right when I get back from Vermont and then plant my carrots right away so they're ready for fall. So it's windy and hot and dry right now. It's a perfect time to go at these rows that are full of weeds and uh, see how much I can get done. Siggy, I don't know what you are doing looking at that row cover, but if you jump out there and rip it, I'm going to have to hurt you. Thank God you're pretty. Yeah, go bother the chickens. Good boy.